Yo, what's going on everyone? Naka here. Hope you all having a wonderful day today so far. I know I am. And today, as you guys can see from the background, I got a Plutonium IW5 video, which is basically like MW3 or the client version of it, like the equivalent of IW4X for MW2. I made one video on this game before, playing on the SNR servers, but I actually didn't end up hitting a shot in that video, and I've been meaning to come back to this game and try to hit my first shot, but I haven't got the chance to yet. But I got some exciting news from Sean, so you already know I had to hop back on the game. I recently tweeted out something like, if you guys haven't downloaded MW3 Pluto yet, you gotta download it ASAP, like tonight. So I already gave you guys a heads up that this was gonna be coming. If you guys don't follow me over on Twitter, please make sure to do so, at NECA. You guys will get all the important updates like that. But the big news was that there's actually a new game mode coming to IW5 or MW3 Pluto, and it actually hasn't been released yet, but I was lucky enough to get early access to it. By the time this video goes live, the game mode actually might be up on MW3 already, but if not, it'll be up like tomorrow or the next day, definitely this weekend. I'm recording this on a Friday. But enough of me talking about it. I'm actually just gonna connect to the server real quick, and I'm gonna show you the game mode I'm talking about. All right, boys, here we are. As you guys can see, we are on MW3 Shaking Gun Game, the unreleased version, or pre release, I should say. Right now, we got the snipers only class set, but there's actually a bunch of different ones. There's like snipers only, pistols only, shotguns and explosives. Um, and then on top of that, there's actually a few mixed sets as well, which have like a bunch of random red guns. One of them has the Riot Shield, that one is absolutely cursed, not gonna lie. But yeah, MW3 or um, IW5 Shaking Gun Game is a way different experience than the BO2 or MW2 one. They all kind of play unique. Also, that iron set is so weird. But like, BO2 is kind of more of a vanilla one. MW2 obviously has the custom guns that you can use. But MW3, well, it plays like normal Shaking Gun Game until you get to last. But when we get to last, I got a surprise for you guys. Basically, if you guys don't know, MW3 has kind of always been known as like the outer map Call of Duty. Not even just on like clients like IW5, but even back on console back in the day, MW3 was always just like the best COD for outer map. And the reason for that is, is there were so many different methods you could get out. Like you could do like, there was one map you could do a care package stack, that was erosion. Most maps you could do a rise shield slide out of. If you wanted to go really high up in the sky, you could do a Moab lunge, which is like when you lunged off like a care pack or lunged off someone with a riot shield oh yeah care pack lunges as well but um but yeah you basically do that while the moab was going off so like it would slow your game down and you could get higher but yeah there's a bunch of really weird techniques like that for getting out of the map but luckily for us nowadays we don't even have to do any of those because it's basically just handed to us as you guys can see when i'll get one kill come on can i get my last kill anytime now hey there we go Right, so I'm gonna hit one on my keyboard, which I bound to my die button. And now look at this, boys. Look why I just spawned. No hard work done at all. I'm literally just up here. Okay, hold on. Imagine I hit that, boys. And now look, I respond again, and I'm right here. We've got the intervention as well. Oh, that'd be a banger. Two interventions. I right, intervention to intervention can. Oh, that intervention had iron sight too. But yeah, if you guys can't tell yet why MW3 Shaking Gun Game is a different experience than the rest of them. Basically, since this is known as like the outer map Call of Duty, basically when you end up getting the last, it just teleports you onto a random roof every time you respawn. Like I know you guys know about the random trick shotting classes if you've played the other Shaking Gun games. But um, none of those had a random trick shotting spot. Like, imagine that. I would cry. This is actually probably the best map for it, too. So thank God it's the one I got first to show off to you guys. Oh, that was a bad attempt. Come on, model knack. Oh my god, if I ever hit that into the map, I literally would start tearing up, not gonna lie. But yeah, boys, look at how many of these out map spots are actually solid. Like, why are these roofs solid? They have no good reason to be at all. Like, this spot is probably like 900, maybe even like 1,000 meters. I'm not even gonna lie, boys. If I ever hit anything like that, like why am I able to get on this roof? It actually makes no sense and climb up the staircase Like why do they even like code this into the game? You know what? I mean, it's not like anybody was ever even able to get there, but intervention to intervention can Ooh, with the iron sight too I can't even believe this map how good it is boys like literally every time I respond I'm just at a different crazy out of map and I can just bang out attempt after attempt after attempt Oh, this one is something else, too. Like, if I ever... Yeah, that's never happening. Also, if you guys can't tell somehow, this version of MW3, like IW5, it actually has, like, double taps from MW2, which are YYs or whatever you guys might call them, built into some of the servers. So, as you guys can see, like, I just did a YY in my shot. I'm going for a fade shot. You definitely can't normally do that on MW3. Oh, yeah, you can also do a bunch of wrist twists really fast. Like, you normally can't do that on MW3. You have to normally cancel them with an equipment, like a throwing knife or something. 
Oh yeah, you can also do glides. Like you normally can't glide in MW3 at all. That's an MW2 mechanic. Not only does this game have MW2 mechanics, but as you guys can see from my secondary, it also has MW2 guns. Like I literally have the intervention right now. Oh, that was a bad attempt. Damn it. Oh boys, I got a USP attack knife so I can go for attack knife flip catwalk. Another thing you can't normally do in MW3 at all. Oh, should I get the intervention class again? But yeah, as you guys know, the intervention is not in MW3. The MSR is basically the intervention of this game. But not gonna lie, with the MW2 mechanics and the intervention, Oh yeah, I forgot this game actually has high rise and rust in it as well. I'm not gonna lie, it kinda just feels like MW2 but like more polished. And some of these spots you would never be able to think of on MW2, like I don't think there's any spot that's like that. I mean don't get me wrong, I love my MW2 but shit I'm having a great time on this. Alright, now that the game is over and we're voting on another map, which like I just was talking about, we're gonna vote Rust because I'm talking about the MW2 mechanics and maps and all that being in this game. But look at that boys, there's actually a distance record for global and for each individual map, so you guys can see who has the furthest shot on each map. Shout out to Matrix for doing that, right now it's pretty filled with Sean and Matrix because this actually hasn't came out yet, but when it's like officially released and the server goes public, I'm sure that they're going to be resetting the leaderboard and not cheating the system. Alright, this time around we got pistols only, let's see if I can turn up on them right Real quick oh I did forget to mention literally the most important part I should have mentioned this when I was using the sniper but yeah basically the last time I made a video on MW3 or IW5 there was actually no aim assist in this game yet but I don't know if you guys will be able to tell here let me see if I can show you guys a good example hold on okay so I don't know if you guys can tell right here but as I'm dragging past him there's definitely an aim assist slowdown I know Pluto is like PC Call of Duty so normally it wouldn't have aim assist but the Pluto devs are actually cool enough to add it for us it's not in every Pluto server, but it's in some of them. So shout out to the Pluto devs for not only that, but also giving us other stuff that we want, like high rise and rust and the intervention. All right, boys, now that I'm at last, I'm gonna try to get a good trick shot spot to go from. Ooh, first try, look at that. We got an out on the map. There's so many people I can hit on. They actually put on like marksmen built into the class too, so you can just see everyone's name, so you know who to go for. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I'd be able to see these people without marksmen. They are pretty small. But anyways, let me go for like a triple wrist twist. Oh, I think I shot way to the left of the map, but that would be dope. And now we got a different spot. We're still up on the mountain, but we're actually at the backdrop. So you literally hit this like through the whole map like that. Oh, under the map too. Wait, I don't even know if you can shoot under the map. Oh wait, actually you can. When Matrix was working on this, he actually ended up putting on unlimited distance and wallbang everything. So you actually can shoot under the map and hit shots if you're going for a spot like that. Or like shoot through the mountain and you can still hit. Oh shit, I spawned on the mountain again. There's actually so many spots you can go for too. Like with every map combined, I think there's like 250 plus spots that Sean and Matrix ended up adding into this. And not only are they just like good trick shotting spots, but every single one of them has either a direct line of sight to in the map or to another trick shotting spot. So like let's say there was a spot over there. There's not, but like that. That's where you would spawn like looking over there type deal some maps are better than others obviously like rust is one that's not that great obviously this mountain spot's crazy but besides that i think there's only like one maybe two more yeah i think there's two total oh yeah here's the other one i was just talking about bet okay little double catwalk oh i didn't even jump off okay double catwalk and then oh i didn't even shoot oh i got this spot again let's go oh that actually could have hit one of the dudes running up top i think and now back over to the mountain let's see what i can cook up from here like double catwalk See, boys, you just get crazy attempts, like, back-to-back -back every try. Sometimes you spawn in the map, like, which kind of sucks, but you can just die and respawn out of map, like I just did right now, and now I'm gonna hit. Oh, imagine I just called that out. Also, not only that, but look how many people we have to hit on. Like, most of them are bots right now, but we have 18 people in the map on Rust, basically, because these servers do fit 18 people. We actually only have 12 in here right now, but take my word for it. <laughs> But yeah, like I was saying before, the maps that are bad where there's only like two spots, basically once you're at last, like everyone's gonna spawn on one of those two spots. So let's say there's 18 people in the game, it'll be like nine on one spot, nine on the other. And it's basically just like a 9v9 trick shotting face off. So it's kind of like something different than just doing like FFA and going for a different spot every time. You basically only get like one of two, if that makes sense. I don't know, just another idea that Sean came up with that I think is pretty dope and adds a little bit of variety to this game mode so it doesn't get stale. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention is there's actually tack inserts in some of the classes too. So if you put the tack insert down and then you go for your little attempt, you can just respawn and look, I'm going to be back up here. Oh, I don't have a tack this time around. 
but um you can just go for another attempt from the same spot if you do end up liking that one all right now let's say you finally spawn in a spot you really want to hit a shot from and you get a tactical insertion on that class if you buy vip access to the shake and service which you can do on the shake package website i'll link that down in the description below that'll give you privileges like you can't get humiliated by throwing knives when you're at last because if you guys didn't know if you get throw a knife at all you only get one throw knife per game but if someone's good with that throw knife and they hit you with their one they get then you are screwed you're back down to zero and you have to start all the way over but basically you can't get humiliated anymore if you're vip and you can save a class so you can just keep putting down your attack in the same exact spot and keep going for one spot the whole game until you hit it Ooh, decommission okay i love this map Oh wait, Fallen got voted too. I wonder which one's gonna win. I've actually never played Fallen on this, so that could be cool. I have no idea what any of the other maps are. Oh, okay, we got it. So this could be one of the bad ones I was talking about. This could be a good one. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh, get beasted right off the rip. Oh, there was actually something I forgot to do, boys. If you pull up your console and you type slash juiced, it basically like makes the game, like the game mode cranked from all the new Call of Duties or the one that started in Ghost. As you guys can see, I get juiced every single time I get a kill. What well, juiced is like a death streak in MW3, if you guys don't know. And if you guys don't know, what juiced does is it actually makes you run faster. So if you can keep getting kills, you just keep moving faster. You're basically zooming around the map. Like, look at me right now, dude. I'm whipping the Ferrari. I know I've already brought them up a lot in this video, but shout out to Matrix and Sean for making this happen. Obviously, Sean came up with the idea of the original gun game. Then he expanded on his idea by thinking of like the gun game which spawns you out of map every time. And Matrix was able to make every one of them happen. I mean, I'm sure I don't even need to give a shout out and you guys follow Sean and Matrix already. But for some reason, if you don't, I'm going to be leaving both their links in the description. Make sure to go check out Sean and Matrix for making this happen. Wouldn't be possible without them. And not only are they beasts at what they do for like the COD community, but they're genuinely great guys. So make sure to check them out. Ooh, wait, I just spawned up here. I've actually never seen this before. Okay, this could actually be dope. Hold on. Double catwalk. Where do you jump off, though? Hmm. Okay. There we go. Okay, a little under the map, too. Intervention Iron Sight. I have no idea how they made that one happen. Not gonna lie. I know they can do Iron Sight on every sniper, but I guess they just uh, only did it on the Intervention and the Dragunov. And of course, I didn't jump off. Nice. Oh yeah, I definitely need to turn off aim assist while I'm going up top with other trick shotters. If you guys don't know how to do that, it's a little command in the console. It's CG underscore aim assist enabled and put it to zero. But make sure to put it back to one the next game before you start sniping the last or red gunning or whatever again. Or else if you don't, you are going to be struggling. Trust me. All right, boys, this is what I was talking about, about always having a line of sight to another trick shotter. Like, as you guys can see, it's just me and Glows up here. And we can't really see in the map at all to like basically anyone i can't oh there is one guy down there but basically we can see this trick shotter up here so i'm pretty sure that's who we're supposed to be going for yeah that's looking right all right boys since i can't hit a shot right now i'm actually gonna end up showing you guys the shot i hit yesterday while we were like beta testing this i mean don't get me wrong we're technically still beta testing it right now but when i ended up hitting this shot it was literally just like me sean and matrix in the game it's funny because they were grinding for like four plus hours already at this point like trying to find out if any of the spawns were broken or anything like that and trying to hit their first shot on the game and i literally got on my first game on iw5 in months and my first ever game of iw5 shake and gun game and i ended up hitting like a 60 meter shot my very first game by the way, boys, there's also an Easter egg in this mod, so if you guys find it, make sure to drop a comment about that. But yeah, you already know I had to flex on them after hours of them straight grinding, just coming in here first try. You know what, fuck it, I'm gonna play a little bit of offshore real quick, why not? Definitely gonna throw aim assist back on, I cannot forget that. I would have a terrible time this game, not gonna lie. Oh, much better already. But yeah, as you guys can see this time, we got like a red gun set. I haven't used any of these guns yet. Haven't got to use a striker in a little bit. Oh, I almost beastie glows. Oh yeah, we got the AK-74U as well. That's another custom gun. But anyways, I'm just going to use this custom class set and attempt to get to last real quick. And then once I get to last, I'm going to attempt to hit a shot. Wish me luck, boys. I don't know if I'll be able to. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. I think I've showed off this game mode enough. I'm not going to make you guys sit through another game. But yeah, if I don't end up hitting this game, boys, I'm just going to roll the footage of my very first game of IW5 Shaken Gun game. And that's the game where I ended up actually smacking that 60 meter shot I was just telling you guys about. Oh, get beasted. So yeah, wish me luck, boys. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. If you do, please make sure to drop a like rating on the video and a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite shot or part of the video is. And if you guys are going to be joining me for some shaking gun game on MW3 anytime soon. Oh, the reload knack. That would have been beautiful. Oh, boys, this is my favorite class to get. When you get the FMG Akimbo and you do a smooth can swap with it, it'll do like the flip for one of them. But if you smooth can it by using the MW2 mechanics and YYing, you actually don't flip one of them. Hold on. Look at that, boys. Or, like, you do, but it, like, flickers. I don't know. I love how that looks, though. 
Oh yeah, another thing you could do I forgot to show off before with MW2 mechanics is you can actually barrel roll like that. So I can do like a barrel roll money knack like I just did. So yeah, without further ado, here's all the footage from not only my first game on IW5 Shaking Gun game, my first shot as well. I hope you guys all enjoy this video and I hope to see you in my Shaking Gun game lobby soon so I can throw a knife some of you guys and maybe hit my clothes on one of you. Nah, but all jokes aside, let me know if you guys want to see more of this game mode or just more of this game in general. I'm down to try regular FFA or SNR. I'll do either. But you know what? I've done enough rambling. Time to get into that footage now. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Alright, let's see how aim assist fails. Oh, there we go. Oh it's yeah, nice. you'll love it, dude. I I didn't even notice. That's how you know. <laughs> I Kinda forgot there was aim because I've been just playing normally. That's one of the biggest things. If there was no aim assist in this, this would probably not be as fun, especially against these bots <laughs> right now. They're going They're crazy. Actually good. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking banana phone 34's got 12 kills already. <gasps> Dude, phase Apex is in the game? Yeah. Yeah, he heard he heard about Apex slide on a spawn. He was like, dude, I gotta hop in. I'm not gonna lie, I'm beyond excited to hit a bill cam on this. Yo, Dynamite Thumb just drop shotted me. <laughs> like this man just was went fully prone while shooting at me. With his thumb too. It's kinda crazy. I know they could do all that. Oh, yo, that can happen. You can spawn inside of somebody and accidentally fall. No, you shouldn't fall unless you move around and fuck up. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I'm at last. Oh, damn it. Why Flash is that good now? My controller stopped working. Oh, dude, I like this. Wait. I actually found a lot of spots that are like definitely possible just by UFOing. Really? Yeah, like, so you would get... I think I know what I'm doing, but there... Let me see. Does that give him Ooh, the option? I hit my first game on. Already? <laughs> yeah. Damn, this okay. Dude, I... But, yo, I failed the fucking catwalk, of all things. Like, what? But, yeah. I hit. That was easy. Okay. <laughs> Damn, that was fun. And yeah, that's gonna be a wrap in today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And to anyone who's new to my channel, I hope you enjoyed the video enough to consider subscribing with post notifications on. If you guys are wondering on how you can stay more connected or up to date with me, I'm gonna be leaving all my links down below in the description. That's gonna include my Twitter, which I'm active on so much daily, so make sure to go follow me over there if you don't yet. My Discord, my Twitch, my second channel, my TikTok. I'm active on all of them pretty regularly, so if you do enjoy my content and want to stay connected, please make sure to go check them out and show some love. Oh yeah, one last thing. Anyone who's new to my channel that might want to know more about me personally, and not just like my clips. I will be doing a Q&A soon for you guys over on Twitter, so make sure to go follow me over there, like I said, if you haven't yet. But if you just have a quick question you want a quick answer to, I do try to read every single message in my Twitch chat and reply to it. So if you ever see me live, come stop by my chat, ask a question, and I'll answer it to the best of my abilities. But yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another banger upload. Peace out, everyone. Parallel Neck out.